Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad that you are here. Today I'm going to share with you a 15 tips to survive the family holiday with your family. Regardless if you have a small family or big family, you have little children or big children, when everyone gathers together for the holidays, summer holiday, or any occasion for holiday is, is the time to anticipate a lot of things and hear how we can, how parents can survive. Although we anticipate the holiday will be a time to fill with family fun, excitement, or the tradition, and it can quickly sometimes turn into chaos. And we are parents may feel overwhelmed and overcommitted while our children are experiencing excitement and sugary treats. Yes, so the holiday can quickly sometimes become a receipt for disaster or resulting in parents yelling, the children misbehaving. So when children misbehave at this time of year, it may be either the way of telling us that they are stretched and overwhelmed. So I am going to give you 15 tips that will keep the holiday joyful and calm for everyone. Number one, keep the routine. So do your best to maintain the same bedtime routine, nap nap times and meal time because when the kids are overtired and hungry, their ability to tolerate frustration go very very low. Second, uh, you provide a structure to a carefree day off of school. So some children who had difficulty with less structures, so misbehavior can increase and sibling swaggers become frequent. If this actually happen, you can restore the routine and structure to your day. Third, he prepare for travel. So if you go on a long car ride and visit relatives, then bring books, toys and games, healthy snack to occupy children when traveling. I have another video uh, share with you the six tips to travel on the planet with children, toddler and baby check on the description above or below. So make sure to include your children in packing for the trip. Uh, putting children in charge of gathering items to help with past the time, make them feel included and responsible, and they will more likely to cooperate with you. Number four, make sure the kids get physical activity, either inside or outside, well, because most school, whole, um, most school day routine will include going outside or some physical activity for the kids and over the school break it might be hard for kids to be stay in the house all the time so if you provide physical activity it will help them burn off the extra energies and relieve tensions and that might get them which may get them into trouble fifth remind your children of expected behavior so when you is the power of communicating is very very effective and powerful for example before you walk into grandma house say who remember the rule in grandma house or before you go into the spa you talk to the children about what you are going to purchase and for example here are the shopping list for Dusty and Auntie Sue's. I know there will be a lot of things in the shop that we all wanted for ourselves. But if we are going to shop for what is, but we are only going to shop what is on our list. Okay, or for example, another one before everyone open a gift. Uh, you open a gift, you can say, who can tell me what we say after we open presents? That will help a lot with anticipation for the children. Number six, take a break. So when you need to, because when you know that you going, that you might going out might lead to cranky, overtired, overstimulate, kid, and that you are destined to feel overwhelmed. 
It might be best for you to stay at home. Choosing the quiet family time where everyone can relax and enjoy themselves is definitely worth considering throughout the holiday. And another option is to go out with a limit time and or plan to leave as soon as you see a warning sign of tiredness or misbehavior in your children. Number seven, keep a calendar or event. Um, for example, places all the school activities, family outings, shopping trips, visits from friends, relatives, and quiet time on one calendar that the kids have access to and see them and talk to your children about all the activity and what is involved. So when kids know they have to dress up, they have to be quiet or be away from home all, home all day, they will be more likely to be cooperate with you because they have anticipation for what going to happen. And as you look at the calendar, be proactive in thinking about how you can prevent a tantrum or power struggle. Because preparing is everything. If you're planning and preparing in advance, you're most likely to cope with when things happen. Number eight. Remember your values and teach them to your children during the holiday, the time of school. You can identify the values that are important to your family and talk to your child about your tradition and what they mean to you. If you develop the new tradition, then hold a family meeting to discuss tradition and activity throughout the year. Number nine, make a lasting memories. Involve your children in capital capturing memory to could did all the children love to take pictures, make movie, create scrapbooks and draw pictures. So have them interview the family member about the tradition or the meaning of the holiday for example. This activity will send the message that family and tradition are important to you rather than keep lecturing them about it. Number 10, help the kid to focus on giving instead of getting. If you talk to your children about giving and the importance of helping others, then they will understand your point of view. And it is even better if you involve them in all the charitable activity, for example. Children can carry the item to drop off location for charity, make cake, bake cake, grab gifts. So ask the children to think of a gift that they can give to each family member that does not cost the money, for example. Children will recognize their good fortune more by taking action rather than through our lecturing. Number 11. Help children make a list. So when the children say, I want this, can I have it please? Say, well, is put it on your list, darling. Say this will acknowledge what they want. And remember, our children will want things eventually. This is normal and appropriate because we do, we want things all the time, don't we? But at another time, help children to review their list and ask them if they believe they will get everything on the list. Hmm. Obviously, no, <laughs> but help them to prioritize the item and modify the list to help them learn uh, the sale limit. So there's a lot of lessons and connections and communication there between you and your child to bond throughout the holiday. Number 12, prepare for opening gifts. That's, this, this is more likely not for summer holiday, more for Christmas or present holiday time. When the kids look at loads of presents and opening multiple packages, it can come as overwhelming for them. So set a limit ahead of time. For example, we can play with your toys after all the gifts are open, shall we? Or we must look at each gift and say, Thank you before the next gift be open. That will slow them down and preparing the children and get them out of overwhelming emotions. Number 13, be a good role model. This is the most important thing. Because if you want your children 
have the holiday that a joyful, fulfilling, not just a stress free time that revolve around marathon shopping trip and constant cooking and cleaning or running around all the tiredness. You got to show your children that you are calm and you are staying on top of all the activity. If it is too much, slow down or just grab it. You don't have to do particular things because it's on your list that you need to do. Right? There's always another day, another time. Number 14. Take care of you, yourself. A common holiday trap is taking on too much of expecting the perfect pictures holiday. So be kind to yourself and put time for you or your to-do list. Is it really okay to politely say no to the children? The children would rather have a joyful, calm and relaxed parent than a lot of present and clean house and stressed parents running around. Also, during the holiday, if you also keep a routine for yourself, have a quiet time for yourself either before the kid wake up or after the kid going to bed, you will more likely to stay crowded. And the last tip number 15, find a quiet time each day to connect with your child. So remember that the gift children need and want more than anything is you. It's your time, your attention, your cuddliness, reading to them, hugging them. So make sure that you do this for every day of the holiday because these are the most precious gift for any holiday season. So there you go, that's a 15 tip to help you survive throughout the holiday with your family time. If you like the video, give me a thumb up. If you would like any other tip for family or traveling, let me know in the comment below. Click the subscribe button, yay! And then also don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified when I have a new video either tomorrow or the next day. And i see you soon. Bye-bye.